A Chinese chef named Gao is seen as the film starts. Gao cooked mouth-watering dishes. Although his restaurant was small, he kept it tidy and spotless. He was passionate about his profession, but something bad had happened to Gao in the past. His father had left him in the hands of a chef so he could learn how to cook. Gao aspired to become a great chef one day. He wanted to achieve what he was unable to in his childhood. Gao's father was a renowned chef, and now he was a master chef. However, Gao despised his father. This was because he had spent his childhood without him. Although he missed his father, his father never knew. On the other hand, Gao's father was content that people were unaware he had a son. This only made Gao even sad. The story then shifts to an adolescent, talented, and charming chef named Paul. He used to cook for wealthy families. Paul had a dream of building a restaurant in his country for his father. So he returned to his homeland after leaving foreign lands and other opportunities. He goes to the fish dealer and says, please show me a large fish. However, the fish dealer forbids him. As Gao comes to buy the big fish from him, that man sells it to him. Paul becomes furious, noticing it, and he stares at Gao with anger. As he feels envy, he thinks, why did he sell him this fish? The fish dealer divides the fish into two parts, noticing both of them are angry, so the dispute may not start between them. In spite of this, both continue to stare at each other angrily. Now Paul's marvelous and amazing restaurant is visible. Its inauguration was held today, which is a very neat, clean, chill, and stylish restaurant. It is adorned very appropriately. Paul's new restaurant is exactly in front of Gao's restaurant. Noticing it, Gao's friends are worried, because this restaurant was going to attract customers there. It was going to take their customers, and what happened was considered a threat. All customers moved to the new restaurant for checking the dish's tastes. So Gao's friends offer a discount to support him, which also appeals to customers, and they again direct themselves toward Gao's restaurant. Paul's friend has become aggressive in this matter. Coming here, they argue angrily with them. What exactly is your issue? You do not have the courage to see us at our best. Then both rivals decide that there may not be a cooking competition, and it may observe that his taste is superior to other chefs. Now both are demanded to partake in the cooking competition forcefully. They don't agree at first, but they recognize each other as they look at each other. They had met at that fish market, so they get ready for the cooking competition. Now the table is set, and a big fish is placed on it, which had been cut by both of them. First of all, Paul cuts the fish, and he begins to extract its fish bones quickly and easily. Everyone likes his method. Now he throws fish to Gao. Gao also cuts the fish very skillfully. When he shows its skin to others, it means there is not much fish meat with it. So we all compliment him. It means both are equally appreciated. A chairman is also present here. He informs them of an international chef challenge contest. I think you both have to participate in it. Now both had to prove who is the superior chef between them. So both get ready. Now Paul tells social media that I used to cook in France. I realized, coming to China, that people still use traditional methods for cooking. It is obvious that he was conveying it to Gao in a hidden way. Hearing it, Gao becomes angry. They all know that they will face each other in competition at first. They will be able to reach the final competition if they win it. Otherwise, they will also get the opportunity to meet the master chef. And that master chef was not anyone else but the father of Gao. Paul's friend comes to Gao's restaurant and invites him and his friend to his restaurant. You all may dine in our restaurant. Now Gao and his friends go to Paul's restaurant, but Paul does not serve their meal but that of his same friend. That meal appeared as a fried egg and a salad, but its taste was unique. Gao thinks after tasting Paul's cooking that it is very different. He rushes to the restaurant's kitchen and yells angrily, Paul, what do you want to prove by showing off your tasty meal? That you are a master chef. Paul remains silent and asks him to cook meat. Let's check who can cook the meat tastier. Gao welcomes the challenge. Gao cooks meat skillfully. It is looking very tasty. Now Paul tells him, I show you how to cook this dish using the same method. Paul begins, and he cooks the same dish in record time. Gao is not finding any difference when he sniffs it. Then he understands that his method of cooking is very progressive. Being upset, he leaves that place. Now someone says to Gao, that his father is calling you. Gao moves to his father. He asks, why did you call me now? Even though you don't accept that I am not your son. His father, the master chef, says, I did it so the world may not say that you are my son. This is the reason that you get a chance to partake in the international chef challenge competition. I rather want it that you may do it yourself. Gao says, father, I don't need your help. 
you were not with me when I needed you. Anyhow, I will prove that I can do it. Due to this, you left me. Now Gao leaves this place because he does not trust the single word of his father. The International Chef Challenge competition is held the next day. Everything has been prepared, participants Gao and Paul are also ready. The time starts, and Paul is assigned a sweet dish while Gao cooks a chicken dish. Both make their dishes with a lot of struggle. Paul makes his dish before time. Afterward, Gao's delicious dish is also cooked. He has also completed his assigned challenge on time. Judges and spectators are very inspired. Now their dishes are tasted, and they both get the same score. Because the judge was not finding a lot of difference in their tastes in dishes, it means both dishes were tasty. Then a judge appears on the stage, and he says to clarify this doubt, no doubt. The taste of both participants' dishes was superb, but I liked Paul's dish presentation more than the others. So Paul won this competition. Paul is extremely excited here. Gao has lost the competition, so he does not return to his house in pessimism. And afterward, he goes and plays video games. He keeps himself occupied in this manner for several days. One day, the same chef comes to him, under whose supervision he spent his childhood. And Gao's father had also left him under his care. He explains, Gao, look. Victory and defeat are part of human life. If you have not won today, it does not mean that you will not be able to win tomorrow. But Gao was not ready to return to the house. He is agreeable after a great explanation. He will have to train himself for the next competition after returning home. Being excited, Paul moves to his restaurant. He pleases and there are also seated his friends in front of him. His friends suggest to him while talking, Paul, why don't you give me the chance to be your friend? He has been with you for a long time. Trust her. And you may permit her to represent you in international competitions. She may know the name of your restaurant. Paul says to him, yeah. She is my good friend. I don't deny it. But she does not know how to cook. So how can she represent my restaurant internationally? Then his friend starts to talk more. It is apparent from his conversation that he is planning with his friend and that lust is breeding in their hearts. Then Paul's friend comes before him and says, put the two soup cups before me, Paul. Can you tell me which soup cup has the most salt? Here Paul is silent, because he has an issue with tasting, because his sense of taste could not work to sense, and it was natural. So Paul is grieved because of this, that his own friend betrayed him, leaving him with his other friends. So his friend says, what happened, Paul? What made you think that I have affection for you? It was your misunderstanding. It does not happen anymore. I only befriended you so I could take part in an international competition while using you. It was not easy for me to partake as such. What did you give me in return, even though I kept your secret? Did you not offer me anything? Not now. I will not keep quiet, because I can also partake in this competition. Another secret is revealed here. Paul's friend deceived him by joining forces with his friend, because they were both involved now, and they were playing a trick on Paul. They will sell Paul's restaurant, and they will start their lives with the money attained from it. But Paul could not let it happen. Paul is very dejected, and he comes out of his restaurant. The night falls, and he begins to take alcohol, sitting outside. Then Gao also glimpses him and says, coming beside him, why are you dejectedly seated? You have got a victory. You should be happy. Then Paul says to him, yeah. I have won but also lost many things. Anyhow, leave it. I'll tell you a secret. Are you looking for that poster ahead? Actually, there is a photo of Gao's father, and the master chef, Paul, says, pointing his finger at it. He is my ideal. I want to be like him. Then Gao smiles lightly and says, Paul, he is my father. You think that he is a gentleman, and you may be like him. Then I will tell you that my father is not kind-hearted. Gao begins to speak as you tell him his past story about what he did with me. First of all, Paul says, you are just kidding. Stop it. But Gao tells him that he left me in my childhood, although I was impeding his growth. I spent my entire teenage life without him. So Paul says, don't be sad. What can we do now? Then Gao says, we can throw bottles. Then they both start to throw the empty bottles toward that poster. The feel excited and they both befriended here. And this moment is very pleasurable. Paul observes that his friends are bargaining with his restaurant when he returns from there. Paul asks them, what is happening here? How can you do it without my permission? So his friends say to him, tell us. To whom will you accompany you to the international cooking competition? Because in this second competition, you cannot cook alone. Your partner's presence is essential. Will you accompany your friend? So Paul says, I am not insane. I have decided who I will take with me. 
who is really eligible, Paul announces the name Gao here, hearing it, his friends are envious, one of them says, remember Paul, your career will be dashed into dust, so Paul hits him on the head, and he drives them away from there, when they all leave, then Gao's protector chef says to Paul, Paul, have you really thought that you will bring Gao with you, Paul says, why not, he also touches Gao's shoulder, and he says, yeah, he is eligible, all are excited. Here is where the preparation for the competition starts, now it is decided between both them that Paul will teach Gao the new skills of his cooking, while Gao teaches him his traditional ways as he cooks. Gao says Paul, don't be worried, if you have no sense of taste, I will help you cure it, he continues to explain, do it as such. Paul also continues to tell him about the new methods of cooking, and a good time is spent here by both of them, they practice the daily ritual of cooking while singing, dancing, and talking and they had developed a close friendship bond with each other. That day has also arrived, when the second international competition is held. They begin to cook their dish perfectly, and they prepare a perfect sweet dish in a short period of time. It is very well liked by the judges, they say, they have never tasted any dish as such till now. And they both win this competition, and it is rightly said, union is strength. Now there is a third international cooking competition, and this competition was with the master chef, who is Gao's father, here Paul says to Gao, I think that you can win this competition, so you may go, Gao says Paul, you are a perfect chef, you know modern methods, so you can cook better than me, then Paul says, no, it is not like this, look, I fulfilled the dream of my father by building my restaurant, just fulfill the dream of your father, he wanted to see you as a great chef, cook the meal while confronting him, and prove to him, that you can be a very great chef, Gao agrees and gratifies Paul, now the third competition is started now, on the other side, the master chef also begins to cook his dish, Gao also starts, before starting, a flashback plays in Gao's mind, where his father had left him, and many kids used to threaten him, he is lost in these past memories, his father throws water on his face, coming there, and he says, start your cooking, then Gao begins to cook something, contrarily, Gao's father, a master chef, cooks a very delicious sweet dish, its presentation comprises fire, which is producing flowers, there is a great taste to that flower, the judges love it, when it is Gao's turn and he is asked to show what he has cooked, so he moves over to his father, who is making the noodles in a bowl, and he shows it to him, the master chef tastes it and loves those noodles, and these are the same noodles that were the cause of Gao's scolding by his father, that he cannot even cook the noodles, and Gao had cooked noodles that were very tasty today, that his father does not control himself when eating, and he begins to eat noodles frantically, and he says to his son while stopping, well done, my son, you cooked the noodles perfectly, he becomes sentimental here, then the audience also gets the knowledge that their family name is the same, and their actions are showing that they are sons and fathers, here Gao's dream had also been fulfilled, as had that of his father, on the other side, it is seen in the restaurant that Paul and Gao work together, and their spectators are more than last time, now more customers visit them as compared to before, people praise their food, and there was a lot going on in their restaurant, the movie also completes this scene.